would not be the same. Few people laughed. Few people cried. Most people were silent. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. Vishnu is trying to persuade the prince that he should do his duty. And to impress him, takes on his multi-armed form and says, now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that one way or another. J. Robert Oppenheimer is often referred to as father of the atomic bomb. Oppenheimer was the wartime head of the Los Alamos laboratory, undertaking the development of the first modern nuclear weapons. As quoted in Doomsday by Charles Berlitz, a student at Rochester University asked Oppenheimer whether the bomb exploded at Alamogordo was the first one to be detonated. He answered well, yes. In modern times, of course. Why did Oppenheimer quote from the Bhagavad Gita when he saw a nuclear explosion? And what did he mean, the first modern nuclear detonation? Many believe that the war referenced in the Bhagavad Gita was an atomic war that took place thousands of years ago. Just give a listen to the ancient scriptures in the Mahabharata. A single projectile charged with all the power in the universe, an incandescent column of smoke and flame as bright as 10,000 suns, rose in all its splendor, it was an unknown weapon, an iron thunderbolt, a gigantic messenger of death which reduced to ashes an entire race. The corpses were so burned as to be unrecognizable. Their hair and nails fell out, pottery broke without any apparent cause, and the birds turned white. After a few hours, all foodstuffs were infected. To escape from this fire, the soldiers threw themselves into the river. Could it be that our past ancestors possessed nuclear weapons? And if so, would we not see the evidence? In the 1920s, the ancient city of Mohenjo-daro was rediscovered by R.D. Banerjee. Archaeologists believe that over 35,000 people once lived in Mohenjo-daro. However it is still debated how this ancient city came to an end. Only under 50 skeletons have been discovered in the city. Many appearing scattered and oddly positioned. Suggesting that they had endured an unexpected and rough passing. Yet for many, the fall of Mohenjo-daro is a mystery. In 2014, mineralogist Sam Iyengar obtained a piece of pottery from Mohenjo-daro. He was able to run it through tests, and shared his findings on TV show, Ancient Aliens. When I did the elemental analysis, it showed me that the Mohenjo-daro rock contained mostly silicon, aluminum with some calcium and potassium. So my thought was maybe it could be some type of a clay till I did the X-ray diffraction. X-ray diffraction is able to determine exactly how a material was formed. This is the pattern I got. And you can see some crystalline peaks here along with an amorphous hump, which usually results from a glassy phase in the rock. The composition is very similar to volcanic rock. The only way the clay can be converted into something which we saw is subjecting the clay to a very, very high temperature. I'm talking four to 5,000 degree Fahrenheit. That is not something a early civilization can do intentionally. It has to be something supernatural. Regardless of the evidence, we are not for certain that a nuclear weapon was set off in Mohenjo-daro. However, we cannot deny that something strange happened here. And is it even surprising that an ancient civilization might have had advanced tools and weapons? Looking at ancient buildings, how is it possible that those could have been built thousands of years ago? 
As technology further develops, and further artifacts are discovered, maybe the truth will be apparent to all. Thank you all for watching. Please share your own thoughts and theories on ancient nuclear weapons in the comments. Until the next time.